Welcome to the Delta Math Tutorial Solution. This is going to be covering the quadratic extreme values of the equation. The problem asks you to determine whether the quadratic function shows below has a minimum or a maximum. Then determine the minimum or the maximum value of this function. So here you have the quadratic function in vertex form. The ask is for the minimum and the maximum. Well, it would be easier if we have it graphed, so let's graph it. Here I have decimal and graphing calculator up, and I'm going to graph it. All right? So I just type it in exactly the way I see it. F of x is equal to three parentheses x plus one to the second power. minus four okay scroll over there it is so it looks like it has a minimum so we would say it has a minimum and now it tries to look for a value so notice that here it is a point negative 10 comma negative 4 when it looks for the value it's actually looking for the y value right the range so the range here would be negative 4 this is the smallest value that this can take okay this is the range the smallest value it can take because the number only goes up from here so notice it's negative 4 then you see how it keeps going up so, all right, it goes all the way to negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, goes to 0, then goes all the way back up. Okay, so the smallest value for its vertex for the y value is negative 4. That's why you would say the minimum value is negative 4. Submit your answer. There you go. So notice you are only looking at the y value. Okay, let's do one more problem to help you out. All right, so this looks a little bit different, but we can still graph it the same way. Okay, x minus 9, 3 parentheses x minus 9, and you have x minus 6 as the second one. All right, okay, let's see if we can graph it. Yep, here it is. Oh, it also has a minimum. Mm, ooh, and it's a fraction too, so it's click. So we would say this one has a minimum, and that value is right here. The y value is going to be negative 6.75. That is the smallest y value that this parabola can take. Submit your answer, and you are correct. All right? Okay? Or I think here the way they showed it was they... Um, find those roots then they add it and divide by two okay but again so simple graph it find the x-axis um, find the y value of the vertex okay new problem all right same thing here let's do one more problem and you should be all set plus two plus seven and you should see yep this one has a minimum and it is right here Okay. Oh, there's no three in front. Okay. All right. So it is right here. It is a minimum because do you see how it is the smallest value here? And it is at negative 6.25. Let's submit. And there you go. You are correct. One more problem. Let's do it in the, oh, this looks like standard form. Let's do it in standard form now. X squared minus x minus 6 there we go we can just click it it's a parabola and this also has a minimum value and it is at negative 7 because that is the y smallest y value here submit and whoop did i type it in wrong ah i forgot the x so it should have been this yeah i typed it in too wrong okay Right, so, oh, we could do this one. This looks a little bit different. So let's just graph it. Negative x f of x is equal to negative x plus 3 squared minus 2. 
Okay, perfect. So this one is a minimum and we saw that the smallest Y value, well, the largest Y value that it can take because it's a minimum, it's gonna be at negative two, all right? Did I forget the negative out in front? Yeah, the maximum value is a negative two. What did I enter? Oh, I put minimum. <laughs> it's supposed to be maximum, all right? Because this is the highest point. Maximum is at um, the highest point, so it's a negative two, all right? So again, I showed you the last two. I did it wrong, but hopefully those, uh, my mistakes can help you out figuring it out, good? Because remember, this is the highest point. That is why it's considered to be the maximum. All right, so there you go.